So we just learned a little bit about Jacob Lawrence in the previous video, but I want to point out some things in his paintings and show you a specific series of paintings. Jacob Lawrence was known for painting everyday life. And here is a scene uh, of an African-American family doing what? What are they doing? What do you see? Yeah, they're eating dinner. They're gathered around the table eating dinner. Um, what are some other uh, aspects that you can see of everyday life? So you see the stove in the background, the broom, the dustpan, a mother holding her baby. So this is a painting as part of a whole series of paintings, which means a, a group of paintings around the same subject um, on the Great Migration. Okay, let's take another look. Here is another painting. This one is actually called They Were Very Poor. So if you remember the last one, they had a lot of things at the table and they had several people gathered around and they had stuff in the background. This painting, there's only the two dishes at the table. There's one thing in the background. So maybe a little bit different than the last one. Okay, they don't have as much. Their heads are down, making them look a little sad. All right, for this one, we have another group gathered around the table, again, showing everyday life. Do you know what they're doing? If you guess playing cards, you are right. So they're gathered around having a good time playing cards. Okay, so I want you to think about what are some things that you do with your family gathered around your kitchen or your dining room table. So take a moment and think of all those different things that you do gathered around the table. It could be putting together a puzzle. It could be having a meal. It could be playing a board game. It could be doing your schooling. What are all those things? Think about that because you're going to be drawing a picture showing things that you do gathered around the table with your family. Hello, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Jacob Lawrence's life. And um, now we are going to draw a picture inspired by his work. Now, we looked at several of his paintings of people gathered around a table. So I want you to think about what do you do with your family gathered around the table? And what shape is your table at home? Okay. Um, so think of that activity and think of that shape. Okay. Is your kitchen or dining room table, is it round? Is it oblong? Okay, so I, mine is around. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna draw half of it. I'm gonna make it really big, taking up a lot of my paper. And we're gonna keep in mind simple shapes when we are drawing our picture. So what is one of those activities that you do around the table? Is it eating? Is it doing a puzzle? Is it playing a game? Like what are the things that you do? And then I want you to think about your family uh, doing those things and draw it. Okay, now simple shapes when it comes to drawing your family. So ovals for heads. Okay, make sure you get a neck here. That's just two straight lines down. All right, and then a rectangle for a body, okay? Okay, oval for head, and I never try and get the perfect oval on the first try. I'm always going around and I'm erasing. Okay, so there's three people in my family, so I'm gonna draw three heads. All right. And this head I'm going to have turned, so we're going to do nose, and then lips hanging out, okay. Okay, so since it's turned, we're only going to have one eye. Okay. 
and again. Rectangle for the body. We'll talk about arms in a minute. All right. Okay. So I've got my simple shape starting out. Okay. And if I want to have my arms come out, that's another simple shape. And uh, most often we're just eating at our table. So I'm gonna put some dishes in front of each person. Um, I'm gonna draw a magazine because there's always a magazine on the table. Okay, and you don't have to have every little detail. So Jacob Lawrence was focused on painting everyday life of African Americans. So I want you to think about what's something you do all the time? What's part of your everyday life? You can start to think about like what what meal you are having with your family. And add more details like the eyes. So add details to people's faces. You don't have to have a ton, you know. Um, think about what people's hair is like. Alright, 
So I've got the basic pencil drawing done. You can think about, um, is there a window in your kitchen where you eat or where your table is? You could draw that. What other details in your house can speak to the everyday things you do at that table? Okay. And then once you have this done, you can start coloring. Um, if you have any straight pencil lines, you know, go ahead and erase those first. Okay. And, you know, think about what color would be good for your skin and your family's skin. And make sure you go around the eyes and the mouth. You shouldn't color over top of those. Okay. Color around those two things. And Jacob Lawrence was known for this really like flat, even color. Now he mostly painted, but I want you to try and do some pretty even color. Don't forget to color the necks. I forgot to color the necks. Okay. So I'm not done coloring yet, but I want to point out that I'm going slowly, I'm taking my time, I'm coloring around the things on the table to do the color of the table. So I outline what's on the table already. All right. You know, get creative too. You don't have to do a meal. If you got, if your family plays board games, at your table together, you know, draw that. If you enjoy doing puzzles at the table, you could do that. If you're doing your schooling at the table, draw that. Okay, make sure you're drawing the amount of people in your family that you live with, okay? I have three people in my family. Maybe you have four, maybe you have five. Maybe you also have three. Maybe you have two. point is to capture a scene from your everyday life. And I am also trying to do some nice, neat coloring here too. main scene colored and now I can start to add like some more details like there's the window behind us so there'd be grass there and sky um I know there's a picture in a frame here and well I'm not gonna draw every detail I'm just gonna put that there and there is a shelf with a plant here so you can once you have this part done you can start adding some 
other details to your picture if you want and color those in. And you know, you could also color in the walls too. Okay, and just keep going. Uh, as much as you have time for it, just keep adding details to your picture. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you watch me finish coloring all of this, but think about what is in the room and what you can add. So you can get this picture of your everyday life inspired by Jacob Lawrence's work. <laughs>